Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to 31 Days of Cut Files. Today I am scrapbooking some uh, photos of the trees we took down at our cabin. And I am using today's cut file that has like this hexagon with some acorns and such. Now the trees I am taking down are not oak trees by any stretch of the imagination. They are actually really big um, pine trees. And the only reason we were taking them down is because they were dead. Sadly, the bark beetle infestation came through that part of California and um, really weakened the tree's immune systems by I guess burrowing under the bark and whatever whatever it is that they do and the trees didn't survive um, also it's really sad because it was a huge source of shade right around our cabin and now there's not a lot of shade anyway I am documenting that I did spray my cut file with some ancient Dina Wakely media gloss ancient is the name of the color it's not that it's really old. It's just the name of the color. Um, so I am also using a bunch of stuff from 49 and Market's uh, nature study. And I am using the cluster kit, the embellishment cluster kit, and the ultimate page kit. Um, the paper is from the page kit. You might have seen on the back side. It has actually uh, what would be the layers that you would build and then on this side it had a much less detailed design and I'm using that and baking my own design but I am kind of leveraging the little leaves and stuff that is coming out of the background there um, it's totally okay if they show through I that's kind of the reason I am doing the design I am doing uh, because by turning it on its side it's a kind of a diagonal design going on and so I'm liking how that's looking it's also giving me some different layers behind the photos I don't have to put any papers back there now my photos do cover up a lot of that area and I'm okay with that too um, but I just think it looks good because you can kind of see a little bit peeking out of the bottom and the top. So I am using a, a really old wood veneer piece. Not really, really old. It's a couple years old. Not like, you know, 15 years old or anything. But the wood piece is from MK's shop. It's an axe. And I thought that was perfect. Now we didn't use an axe, of course, to take these trees down. Um, the trees are huge. Um, my husband's chainsaw has like a 36 inch bar on it. And it does not even go all the way across the bottom or the... Um, trunk of the tree in one swipe so um he has to kind of finagle it and we were very cautious and careful about how we did it um it's all it was quite a process but uh i am just really documenting that and all that went into it and i think i have done a couple of pictures of the trees up there before and the mess that has ensued after this bark beetle infestation i'm not sure i actually did these three photos before but even if i did it's totally okay because um one of these will probably go in my in my son's album because he was there helping and then one will stay in my album and i'm okay with that <clears throat> now i don't i don't actually do a lot of like separate albums for him except for his scouting stuff is separate but um i do know at some point when he moves out, I will split out a bunch of pages for him that are specific to him, um, that are family stuff, but still specific, more specific to him. So for the meantime, he's still here, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, that piece that says so epic is a piece of flair that came in the June monthly embellishment box from some assemblage required it is uh from scrap and happy studio and mk has um been working with with scrap and happy to create flair that she wants to use in her monthly embellishment box and that's how i got it i did flatten it out by running it through my sizzix switch machine which is very much like a big shot just it is electric so um, flattening it out made it really nice and flat so I don't have as much bulk on my page although I do have this little um, book plate that I'm putting on that is chipboard and I am putting the axe right over the top of it so now I've got uh, some thickness down below because I've got um, kind of double the thickness with the chipboard and the axe now I'm going to use that title that says oh snap I'm adding that on top of that 
piece of chipboard also and since the axe is already on top I figured I might as well just go with it and I actually really like how it came out I, even if it does have a little bit more dimension than I originally had intended um, the exclamation point on that O snap is a star and so I went ahead and just glued that down and um, I was trying to use one of these little clips from the embellishment or cluster actually there I don't think those are from the cluster kit I think they're from the ultimate page kit but anyway from the 49 and market products I separated the clip apart and took the back off of it so it's only one half and it's thinner but I just could not find a place where I liked that it to stay so it's not going to make the cut it's going bye bye um, I am pulling out some foam dots to put behind this um, piece of flare and I do not know where I got that, that foam. Uh, well, I do. It's from uh, somebody who was getting rid of all, a bunch of their crafting stuff. And so it came home with me, but I don't know where they got it from. So I can't even tell you where those, those pieces of foam are from. But I thought I better start using them instead of um, just ignoring them. And then I am sprinkling some ancient mist around into my clusters. And that is it, you guys. A uh, quick one today. Go and check out what MK is doing on her channel. I'll be back here tomorrow with um, a actually not here. I will be back in the 31 days of cut files group with a live video on uh, Tuesday using the Tuesday cut file. So come back and check that out. And don't forget, you can go and join the 31 days of cut file Facebook group, or you can go and join my group as well. Galaxy girl creations and see what's going on over there. I do lives periodically in my group, um, usually a couple times a month, and I'd love to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this one and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.